the Extraordinary Tourist and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a secondary animated prop to an existing animated prop in Real Illusions Cartoon Animator 4. To do this I'll be using the Jelly Bees Expression Prop Pack and the Elastic Motions Spongy Moves Pack which you can purchase from the Real Illusion content store together as part of a bundled package deal combo. The reason I decided to do this tutorial is that I got into a discussion on Facebook about the Jelly Bees pack and it was pointed out to me that in the promotional video for the Jelly Bees you can see on your screen screens here now um, the jelly bees themselves have a little sort of bubble top knot top knot on their head that in this video is animated separately but when you buy it buy them in their pack uh, the top knot is actually attached and this scene here is the particular one in question can see here how this little top knot is moving around and is completely separated from the actual character's head and that isn't actually the case when you buy this particular pack uh, these little bubble top knot knots are all part of the sprite of that particular prop based character and you can't actually do that but having said that it is actually not that hard to achieve that particular effect with these characters and that's what I thought I'd show you how to do in this video so here we are I've opened up cartoon animator 4 and I've already loaded in my little demonstration animation which I'm going to play for you and just show you this is what we're going to create this is the little jelly bee expression prop and just to be clear this is a prop it's not a character and as you can see I've got the little top knot bubble following him round as he's moving so if I just stop that and we'll get started on a new project right away and I'll show you how the um, actual top knot is not actually detached from the character. So you can see there that's the expression props jelly bees. Seven characters there we're going to use the jam character so double click on that one and this is what you have here as you can see if we go into the scene man manager there is only one prop in the stage area and that top knot bubble is firmly attached as you can see and if we look at this character's sprites you'll see there there are actually three other expressions that you can switch out to give this character expressions as you animate with it. But the, fir the first thing we'll want to do is take this top knot off this character's head. So to do that we're going to go into the prop composer menu so make sure you've got the character or the prop selected and open up the prop composer now we're in the prop composer and what we're going to do is just mask out the little top knot so we want to select him and you'll see on the right tool menu the second tool down. The first one is the exit the composer. The second one down is the mask editor so we'll click on that. And you can see here we're 
now in the mask editor and all this sort of blue area has been masked out that's going to be transparent on the prop and obviously anything here inside that blue area is the actual prop itself and I'm just going to use the magic wand tool we'll call it select by color tool to remove this but and I've got the tolerance set to 6 which should be okay but 6 is fine so I'm just gonna click in here and start getting rid of all the bits in here that I don't want just using the magic wand tool so there you go that's now masked out my top knot and if I get out of the mask editor you'll see now my little jam jelly bee no longer has a top knot now because this is a multi sprite, -sprite prop uh, if you want to use all the other facial expressions as part of your animation you're going to need to um, remove the top knot from all of the different sprites just to do that you make sure you've got this sprite selected and go into the sprite editor and just change to the other props and then you go into the mask editor and you'll see we're now in the I think this is the angry expression and we just do the exact same thing um, clear out the little top knot And close the mask editor and you'll see now that expression doesn't have the little top knot and if we go back to the sprite editor switch between happy and angry you see both of those sprites have had the little top knot removed so we'll do that for sad and joyful as well fast forward a bit here while I'm doing this so that you don't have to sit here and watch me there we go now all of my um, sprites have had the little bubble top knot removed we can just get out of here get out of the composer and go back to the stage and there we have our little jam jelly bee minus the top knot to add the little bubble on top of the head is make sure you have that deselected and double click on a second jam prop to load it in and this jam prop we're going to take into the composer and this time instead of masking out the bubble we're going to mask out the rest of the actual character so we go into the mask editor and once again with the magic wand we'll mask out the bits of the prop that we don't need which is all of this these last bits now if you wanted to at this point So you could get out of the mask editor and then go into your chosen graphics software and just fix this edge up and round it off so that's a perfect bubble but for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to do that but if you wanted to do that you would just click on this button here which would launch your external editor where you could go and fix that up and then come back here and have a perfectly round bubble but what I'm going to do is just edit here and now you can see I've got my bubble there and my character here uh, the next thing we need to do is place this in line with the character 
and now I'm going to position him make sure we're on the first frame and the first thing I'm going to do is to get his first entrance animation we're going into the elastic motions tab which is where you'll find all of the elastic motions and the spongy moves packs and elastic motions are generally divided into three different types of movements you've got entrance movements for the prop um, coming into the scene you've got emphasis movements which is the prop uh, actually doing some kind of action within the scene without sort of leaving the scene and then you've got exit motions and the way these work is that with like your en entrance motions you don't have to start with your prop off stage you just position it where the prop is going to finish up and then you add an entrance motion and that motion will animate up to the point of where you've placed your character so my little jam's first movement is in the entrance folder uh, under elastic motions come and go and it's under number 8 for FFD clip and it's called rush left so I'll just double click on that to apply it and you can see that's my character he went was immediately moved off stage and rushed left to the point where I placed him so the prop motion that I used next is called hello and it's under emphasis Elastic motions, spongy moves, wiggle. You can see here it's just called hello. So we'll apply that by double clicking. So my last motion is in the exit folder and it's just under exit. It's called roll accelerate, which is just here. And I'll apply that one by double clicking. You can see my character rolled out of screen there. So this is what we've got so far. I'll move the animation brackets thing here a little closer so that we can make this loop and it won't go through 2,000 odd frames. So I've got the loop turned on down here and we'll play it. That's what we have so far. As you can see, while the little top knot is not actually doing anything interesting, so what we want to do is apply some secondary animation to that. So it looks like he's actually following the character and responding to the actual actions that this little jelly bee jam is making. But to do that, we'll go to the start of the video, and then we need to go into the timeline. And you'll see here. We've got all the motions for the jam character in here. We've got rush left, uh, the hello motion, and then the roll accelerate. What we're going to do to make our little bubble knot follow along is we're going to apply the exact same motions to that. The only difference is we're going to add a two frame delay. So what we'll do is move the playhead here, Just move it up a couple of frames to there. And then we'll just go through and add the same motions to that that we did to our jam jelly bee prop. Let's go into the content manager and we're going to apply our entrance motion. We'll rush left. So we'll double click that to apply it to the top. And as you saw there, the little bubble kind of sprung in, but so that we don't mess up the playhead, we'll just go to the next motion.
which means the hello motion and apply that see then we'll do the roll accelerate motion at the end so as I said we're just applying the exact same motions that we applied to the main jelly bee prop so this should be roll accelerate and there we go so there's one last thing I need to do here and that is uh, if I go back to the start of the animation back to frame one which I'll do by hitting the stop key you'll see the top knot is visible here and the little jelly bee jam thing is not that's because the entrance animation for the top knot now starts two frames later so currently it's sitting in its final position after the entrance animation so what we've got to do is make it invisible on the first frame by clicking the visible invisible icon so that it's not just sitting there and then we move two frames up you see the jelly bee jam is now appearing and then we make the top knot visible only you can't see it yet because on the first frame of this entrance thing the thing is invisible but there you go now the top knot is following along so if I play this back now you see now we've got the little top knot trailing along and kind of reacting to the jelly bees movements and so that's the basic sort of theory as to how you create this kind of second anima secondary animation on a prop it's basically just applying the exact same animation with a two second delay or a two frame delay and you sort of get that same effect so in this video you've just seen how you can set up a jelly bee prop so that its little top knot will follow it around as it moves about the scene in a similar way to how it did in the promotional videos now this technique can be applied to sort of other situations obviously and you could actually use it if you wanted to to give your little jelly bee a whole string of top knots that would look more like a ponytail following him around so that's my tutorial on adding secondary motions to props I hope you got something from it and that you found this tutorial useful uh, if you'd like to see tutorials on anything in particular leave a comment and let me know and I'll see what I can do in terms of actually making a tutorial so there you go don't forget to like comment subscribe and check the little bell notification as well if you want to be notified of whenever I upload a video till next time I shall see you later bye for now